Hello and welcome to this session of 4 in 40, where we are going to be discussing tools for session engagement. Specifically, we are going to be looking at how you can use polls during your session to engage your audience. I'm going to refer to this quote from Benjamin Franklin. Uh, tell me and I forget, teach me and I remember, involve me and I learn. So that involvement piece is what we're really going to be hammering in on. We're looking to involve your participants uh, and we're going to look specifically at how using polls throughout your session will get your audience involved and give you an idea of where your session needs to go on the fly. So a quick overview of this 4 and 40 session. We had a video discussing music and how you can implement that into your session. We had a quick session on Jamboard and what that looks like, and how you can get your participants collaborating that way. This one, we are going to be looking at polls and, and the different tools that you can use to, to start formatively assessing your audience so that you know where to go. And then in our next session, we are going to talk about chat strategies and how to get participants to get involved, even if they might be a little camera shy. All right, so this time we're going to be looking at polls and how you can use them to get a quick pulse on what your participants are feeling and where you might need to steer your conversation. All right, one way to get your participants engaged is by using a poll. So if you go up to the three shapes up here, click on it, it's activities, you'll see uh, three different options, breakout rooms, polls, and Q&A. We're going to focus on polls, um, and we'll even talk a little bit about Q&A. Uh, so if you click on polls, we're going to start a poll. And I'm going to go ahead and ask the question, how often should you give a formative assessment? So I'm gonna go ahead and you can either save it and so that you can come back to that later or you can launch it. Now you'll see before you have the option of showing everybody the results, you can see what's, what's going on here. Now on my participant, I have the ability to answer that poll. I'm going to show everyone the results. All right, once the poll has been launched, your participants will get a message saying that there is a poll available. They can go in and click it. I'm going to go ahead and answer it. That's one way to engage your audience. And if you notice, if, if everybody answers never to that question, you know you have some work to do. And so that allows you as the facilitator to go through and really uh, tweak your, your session for the needs of the participants. One other tool that you can use is uh, this Q&A function here. So if you click on Q&A, you're going to open up the ability for your participants to ask you a question. And so my participant is getting ready to ask a question. And as the facilitator, you will notice it pop up uh, in this area once that question has gone through. So you have, as the facilitator, you have a couple different options. Uh, you can mark it as answered. So that way you know as you're going through that you have, have taken care of that, it, that particular issue. You can hide it so that other people are not able to see it. Now, what the person who asked the question will see on their end is that the question has been hidden. So if you're hiding the, the questions, make sure that the people who are asking them know that as well. Um, and then you have the option to just go ahead and fully delete the question. The other participants have the uh, ability to upvote the question. So if there are a lot of people who have the same question, they can keep clicking on that and that'll help take care of that issue. Um, but this is another way to keep your uh, audience engaged. All right, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to your campus digital learning coach. There are a total of four videos in this session. So if you still need some more tools to get your engagement up in your session, uh, please come back and watch these. And thank you for watching.